evidently on Twitter right now, leftists can call conservative women uh, the B word, the C word. They can call them evil, racist, misogynist, white supremacist, vile, stupid, loser, um, all kinds of other nasty words that I don't even want to say. And uh, according to Twitter's standards, this is okay. It's okay for these just absolutely vicious, grotesque insults and ad hominems to be hurled by leftists at conservative women. But the Babylon Bee, everybody's favorite satire website, makes me laugh on a daily basis. The Babylon Bee did a satirical headline mocking USA Today for their Women of the Year list that we did a piece on or that I did a piece on last week an episode about, actually, it was almost an entire episode, we were talking about how that which a society honors um, is the the characteristics that the society encourages and how each and every one of these women honored by USA Today did not embody or does not embody characteristics that we ought to be encouraging in our society if we want to not only encourage women to be the best people that they can be, but encourage a a prosperous nation, encourage our nation to, to continue on its, on its trajectory. So the Babylon Bee did a satirical headline, of course, about USA Today. Um, and their headline was, Babylon Bee's Man of the Year is Rachel Levine. Of course, I'm not going to explain the joke as Seth Dillon, as Seth Dillon said on Twitter, this also made me laugh, um, said this morning, you know, they charge extra for joke explanations because someone didn't, said so they didn't understand the joke. Well, well, too bad for you if you don't get the joke. Babylon Bee's Man of the Year is Rachel Levine. So, it, it, Twitter locked the Babylon Bee out of their Twitter account. They said that this is hateful content and that the Babylon Bee would be locked out for 12 hours after they delete this tweet. Meaning Twitter has the capacity to go in and delete this tweet. If they find this to be terrible content, if they find this to violate their terms of service, if they, find, if they label this as hateful, Twitter can make this tweet disappear. They can, they can take an active editorial role and prevent content that they don't like from being on their platform, but they don't. And that would be bad enough, right, if they did that. They don't do that. They actively want to make Seth and his team over at the Babylon Bee, they want to make them do the censorship of themselves. They want to make Seth and his team commit this horrible, this horrible ideological censorship against themselves. So Seth's not allowed to tweet from the Babylon Bee unless he himself essentially capitulates if he admits that this is hateful. He, he, he accepts Twitter's scolding, this, this label from Twitter that he's being a bigot. He's not allowed to tweet from his account for 12 hours until after he, you know, gets up, stands up on this pedestal and says, yep, Twitter, you were right. 